Hello all, welcome back to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to send automated WhatsApp messages for website development inquiries on India Mart. So are you also running a website development company and do you also use India Mart for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So right here, I'm doing the same. I'm running a website development company and for that, I use India Mart. And we receive a lot of inquiries through our India Mart account for the same. So now what I want is that as soon as a new inquiry is received from India Mart, automatically an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to my lead or the person who has submitted the inquiry with the help of Vati. So yes, to do this, we are going to create a connection between India Mart and Vati. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video we are going to understand how to send automated WhatsApp messages for website development inquiries on India Mart. So as you know that I run a website development company and receive a large volume of inquiries through India Mart. So handling each inquiry manually takes up a lot of time. So to automate and ease this process what I want is that as soon as the new lead is received through my India Mart automatically an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead so that I can convert my leads into paying clients. So yeah, to do this, I've simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you're a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in right over here. And as soon as we are going to click on sign in, it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And as soon as we are going to do so it is opening my dashboard. And to start with this automation we are going to click on this button which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations. And I want to name my workflow as send automated WhatsApp message for website development inquiries on India Mart. And then we are going to click on create. And as soon as we are going to click on create, it is opening the most important window of our automation, which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens. An action means do this. So by this, you can understand that the triggers the command for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single command but multiple followers. So here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. And now to start with our automation, we are going to select our trigger application. So I'm going to select my trigger application as India Mart because I want that as soon as a new lead is received or a new query is received from India Mart, automatically my workflow should be triggered. And now it is asking me for the trigger event. So trigger event means on which the workflow should get triggered. So I'm going to select the trigger event as new lead because I want that as as soon as a new lead is captured or the new inquiry is received through my India Mart, automatically my workflow should be triggered. And now it is giving me a webhook URL. So we are going to use this same webhook URL in order to create a connection between our India Mart account and our Pabli's workflow. So in order to create this connection, we are going to follow this help text given right over here. So we are going to follow this. It is saying log into your India Mart account, navigate to the lead manager section in the left tab. So I'm going to put my India Mart account and as you can see that this is my account. And now from the left sidebar, we have to go on lead manager. Over here you can see the menu. So we have to go on this menu and then import export leads. And then we are going to go on push API right from here. And as soon as we are going to come here, it is asking me for the source. So I'm going to select the source as other right over here. And now it is asking me for the CRM platform name and the webhook listener URL. So over here you can see that it is saying choose other in the source. And now enter Pabli Connect in CRM platform name. So I'm going to enter Pabli Connect right over here in my CRM platform name. And now for the webhook URL, we are going to paste the URL we copied from our workflow and then we are going to click on save details and as soon as we are going to click on save details it is saying please select one of these options so it is asking me why I want to send India Mart leads to another application so I'm going to select any one of this reason which is I feel that I can permanently save the leads and then we are going to click on click to generate OTP to connect our India Mart account with our Pabli's workflow and as you can see that it is saying OTP sent successfully so I'm going to enter the OTP right over here and now after entering the 
OTP, I'm going to click on submit. And as soon as we are going to click on submit, yes, you can see over here is the CRM platform name and the webbook listener URL. And this means that we have successfully created a connection between our Pabli's workflow and our Indiamart account. But over here, you can see that it is saying waiting for a webbook response. And in the notes, it is saying do a test submission slash record. So what we have to do is we have to do a test submission in order to capture this webbook response. And in order to do this test submission, I have created a profile. So I'm going to open that profile first. So as you can see that this is my profile, you can see the email that I've entered, the address, the phone number, where you can see the name and also my address. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the test submission with the help of this profile only. So I'm going to go on shopping right from here. And now we're going to create an inquiry for the same product, which is website development. So over here, I'm going to search for magnet brains. And as you can see, Magnet Brain Software Technology Private Limited. So I'm going to select this because I want to generate lead for this company and this product only. So you have to select the same product for which you are going to generate this lead, which is your product. And now here you can see Public Connect. So I'm going to open this. And now after opening this, we are going to do the test submission. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this contact supplier right from here. And now it is asking me for the requirement details. So I'm going to enter my requirement details or my query right over here. So yes, you can see that I've entered my query here and now I'm going to click on next and as soon as we're going to click on next it is asking me for the GST number so this is not the required field so I'm going to leave it as blank and click on submit and as soon as we're going to click on submit yes you can see your details are sent to magnet brains so yeah this was the same product for which I'm going to create this automation so I did the test submission for the same and now after doing the test submission it is saying that my details have been sent so yeah this means that India Mart has captured the details and sent to our workflow so now I'm going to open my workflow and check for the response received and yes you can see that we have received the response with the same details that we entered over here you can see my profile details like I showed you over here you can see the state you can see the pin code you can see the sender's name and also my phone number I'm going to scroll more and look for another details and as you can see over here is my email you can see my company name over here you can see my city and another details and also over here you can see the message text so this was the query that we submitted hi I'm looking for a reliable company company to help a professional e-commerce website for my retail business and you can see another details that we entered so yes with this we have successfully captured the response of the query which we submitted right now and also with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now further what I want is that as soon as a new lead is received from our India Mart account an automated whatsapp message should be sent to that lead to nurture that lead so to do this we are going to select our action application so I'm going to send a whatsapp message and I'm going to send this message with the help of Vati. So I'm going to search for Vati right over here. You can use any another application by which you can send a WhatsApp message. Suppose you can use AI Sensi or if you wish you can definitely use WhatsApp Cloud API also. So I'm going to search for Vati and then we are going to select it and now it is asking me for the action event. So I'm going to select it as send template message because I've already created a template for the message and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Vati account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me. Click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the API endpoint and the access token. So to get this, we are going to follow this help text and it is saying navigate to the top on your Vati dashboard. Click on the hamburger icon, then click on the API docs to find your API endpoint. And same goes for the access token. So we are going to follow the same. I'm going to open my Vati account and as you can see that this is my dashboard and now from here we have to go on this and as you can see the API docs we have to select this and as soon as we are going to open the API docs you can see the access token and the API endpoint so we are going to copy both of this right from here and then we are going to paste it over here in our workflow so first we are going to paste the API endpoint and same we are going to do for the access token too and now after pasting both of this we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that we have successfully connected our Vati account with our Pabli's work workflow and now it is asking me for the whatsapp number so it is asking me that on which whatsapp number i want to send this message so i want to send this message to my lead so i'm going to enter the number of my lead right over here but we are going to map the number right over here so what is mapping mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected india mart as our trigger application so we're going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these 
these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so i'm going to give you an example that over here it is asking me for the whatsapp number okay so let's suppose that i'm going to enter a dummy phone number right over here manvili suppose this so i'm going to enter the number like this manvili then this will not change with every new lead received because this is a static information and i've entered it manvili but if you are going to map this from the previous response suppose i'm going to search for it and then we are going to look for the number and as you can see that this is the number so let's suppose that we are going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and after mapping the whatsapp number we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the template so as you can see i'm going to open my varti account we are going to go on templates again and as you can see all the templates that i've already created so i'm going to use one from this only which is india march so as you can see that this is my template so i'm going to select this template name right over here in my workflow too which is india mart and as soon as we are going to select this it is asking me for the broadcast name so i'm going to keep it as india mart leads right over here and now after entering the broadcast name it is asking me for the custom parameters so you must be wondering what is this custom parameters so we're here to let you know this i'm going to open my template again and as you can see that this is my template and you can also see that there is name in curly brackets so the name is in curly bracket because this is a variable right over here or a custom parameter right over here so what i want is that with every new message this name should be replaced with the name of my lead and this name should be dynamic so that's why i put this name in curly brackets and we are going to enter and map the name right over here so what we have to do is we are going to follow this help text we are going to copy this example right from here and then we are going to paste it over here in our custom parameters so now over here you can see that it is asking for the name of the custom parameters so the name of my custom parameter is name only so i'm going to select the same right over here i'm going to raise this color and enter name and now it is asking me for the value of the parameters so over here i want the name to be the value for that i'm going to look for the name of my lead and as you can see demo user so we are going to map this so over here it is name over here you can see the name of the custom parameter is name and the value of it is demo user so now after entering this i'm going to click on save and send test request but before clicking on save and send test request i'll just let you know that i've only entered a single custom parameter right over here if you wish you can add multiple and you have to enter the same right over here too in your workflow like shown in the example after putting a comma and after entering all these i'm going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have received the positive response that we have successfully sent a whatsapp message to our lead so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my whatsapp and check for the new whatsapp message sent and yes you can see that we have successfully received a new whatsapp message which says hi demo user and over here you can see the rest of the message that we entered in our template so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow so i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected india mart and then for the trigger event we selected new leads for the action application we selected varti and then for the action event we selected send template message because i wanted that as soon as the new lead is received to my india mart account for my website development company an automated whatsapp message should be sent to that lead so that i don't lose a connection of my lead and also it helps me to convert my leads into paying clients by quickly following up and now over here you can see that we have successfully completed this workflow you can see the message i sent to my lead during this video with the help of my workflow so yes this was it for the video and now after creating this automation you don't have to come back again and again on your workflow and click on save and send test request you can just sit back and relax because now as soon as you receive a new lead from your indermart account automatically the whatsapp message would be sent you don't have to do this again and again so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just loan this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching